All right, give it up, please, for Danny O'Reilly. Up in the middle there. <clears throat> Don't mention the word junket. <laughs> that looked good. That was so much fun. So much fun. I'm very uh, happy to be here. Surprise for a couple of reasons. The first, uh, last time I was on off the ball, I called Jer Gilroy Nathan, and uh, that didn't go down well. Oof. And then I mentioned uh, a competitor, <laughs> another podcast that we're not right, we're not allowed to mention. Get off, get off. And uh, so I thought I'd never be asked again. And then also Somehow. because I just also uh, the height of my rugby knowledge is second year in turn year, who Paul liked to slag. Um, I made the bees, and well done. Uh, yeah. But anyway, here I'm here now. You have a strong rugby link, though. You played at Brian O'Driscoll's wedding. Absolutely, yeah, and that makes me know all sorts about rugby. <laughs> smashed it, absolutely <laughs> smashed it. Nailed it. Uh, it was always yeah. fun, and it was funny because we, like, brought, Bod asked us to play. We're like, of course we will, absolutely. And we met Amy way back, like when 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 she started out, and we we were on a TV show way back. And uh, anyway, so we were like, okay, we played the wedding, amazing. So we sent a message to Brian and Amy going. So what songs do you want us to play? Like thinking that they'd have a list of certain covers, you know, maybe a bit of Stevie Wonder, whatever the wedding songs like. And they just started listing all Corona songs that they <laughs> loved. <laughs> I was like, oh, they actually know our songs. That was cool. So uh, yeah, that was uh, it. Was a great, great guy. But also, I would say we we were there at the day too. Like and uh, so we played the gig. It was great. And after we were at the bar having a few pints, and like Brian came up. And like, must have been chatting away to us for about an, an hour at the bar, just the four of us. And I was like, Brian, like, after a while, like, oh, Brian, this is your wedding. Like, <laughs> you, go out. He goes, ah, I've fucking seen enough of them. It's grand. It's grand. <laughs> I, I remember because we had another band before the, there were a cover band um, called the Bogus Brothers. And then I was, the big thing was for everyone to have a, have a great time. And I wanted to make sure the boys had a good time as well. I remember the, um, the lead singer of that going out to Danny. They came back on after the Coronas oh, had yeah. played and came out to Danny out in the audience and you know, we're all dancing away and you know, Amy and I are up on chairs and anyway, he puts a microphone in front of Danny and I think it was, might have been Journey, Don't Stop Believing, and he belted out about two lines of it and I've never seen another singer's face drop. He was like, Jesus, I sound <laughs> shit now after your man. He was like, enough of you. It was. Insane, yeah. like uh, it, it's a different level of voice this uh, guy has. Yeah, very good. So how was Japan? <laughs> oh, was what, were we over for the Scotland game? Scotland game, yeah. So it was great. We were there for six days. It was amazing, boss. Like it was a real last minute thing. I actually bumped into to you in Rat Mines yeah. only like a month ago, and I was saying oh, I think we're going to be going over for the first game or a month before the first game, and uh, it was so much fun. It was deadly. It was it was just an amazing few days, like. Um, yeah, we, Scotland game was brilliant. We had the best seats in the house. It was and a great. Everything was organised really well, and we had, yeah, a bit of crack as you can see there. I actually haven't seen that video yet. It was real a sort of last minute mess. Thing. Had you been to Japan before? You'd, you'd way back, that yeah. Once, yeah? We, we toured there way back once, just briefly for a couple of days. We were in Tokyo, but this was the first time I had a few days off. Like so, it was great. We had we had a great time. And did Joe Smith invite you into the captain's run? Yeah, yeah. We went in on on the. Actually, Vinny Hammond, who you, you mm. know, is a friend of ours from back in the day, and it was the, he's the video analysis uh, guy for, for, the, for the team. So he texted us and said, come down. So we went down on the Friday to the captain's run and like, met the lads and all, and, you know, chatting away. And it was cool to see the stadium in Yokohama empty under lights and, and the boys training away. And, and then the, all the press were kicked off, but we were allowed to stay and watch the second half of the training session and all. And that's when Rob Kearney and the lads who were injured actually went off and were admitted that they were injured as opposed to jogging through the warm-up, pretending they're all right when the cameras are there. <laughs> but, uh, that hardly ever happens <laughs> under Joe Schmidt. <laughs> like, yeah. The warm-up was so light until they kicked away the cameras and then the three boys went off the back and you know, started stretching while the real, <laughs> real training happened. But uh, yeah, it was great. And then on the Sunday after, Joe had asked me to go in and sing a few songs for the, for the team when they were in camp in the summer. So I went in and brought a few musician friends of mine and we, and we sang a few songs. Like, so he rang me up out of the blue and, and I was like, no way, this isn't Joe Smith, this is Mario Rosenstock or something taking the piss out of me. Like, Sorry, you know. Joe Smith himself organises the entertainment. Yeah, yeah, he just <laughs> rang me, like, honestly. Yeah. And is he a fan? I don't think so, no. He, was like, <laughs> yeah. he is now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so he, he asked me and he was really sound. We went in and sang a few songs. So anyway, I had his number, right? <laughs> 
Uh, and uh, so after the Scotland game, so we, you know, bear in mind, we've been on the piss all, all, all day, great day, really good fun. <laughs> And I, I just, of course, it gets to it gets to about three in the morning. I'm going home, and I thought it was a brilliant idea. This this is my moment now. I'll text Joe, and and you know. Sorry, what? I drunk texted Joe Smith at three in the morning after Scotland game. And uh, oh no. Yeah, no, and like it, it wasn't even so much the message. It was just you know when you wake up the next day and you see the time. It's like three oh four a.m. Like you know. Did you look to the end of the message and see if there was an X at the bottom? Yeah. <laughs> The two well, blue ticks have come up, like, but... Uh, what did you say? I, I can read it out for you if you want. Yes. Okay. This is very Michael McIntyre. Show us your messages. Joe's a detail guy, so <laughs> is everything spelt well? Yeah, and well, <laughs> I spent ages concocting this, right? <laughs> All I said, I was, I was just feeling very philosophical. It just said, uh, Too small la nehebra. Right, that was it. <laughs> I thought, this will, that means good starts half the battle, lads. Come on. Right. Okay, did you know that? You've never heard that saying? No. Okay, it means good starts half the battle. And for some reason, great. I thought Joe Smith would understand my Irish. Ah, yeah. I um, thought that was a great, great idea, but obviously... He's into his Irish culture, but I don't think he's quite it, gone that far. Play, I thought, ah, he'll ask someone what that means, and then he'll go, ah, oh, that Danny is a real fucking smart guy. <laughs> no, but so, fair play to him, he responded, right, the next day. And he obviously just threw it into, like, Google Translate or something. Because he's like, ha, thanks, Danny. Yeah, the first half was good, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So I, yeah, I didn't, but I left him hanging. I didn't respond to that song. So that, <laughs> so. that was the end of the text yeah, conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, uh, you did very much party out there as you would as a rock star, as you could be a rock star from Terenure. You <laughs> yeah. were up late some night. You went to a karaoke bar. We did. The cameras yeah. were out. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, it is great. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it is good. Yeah. 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 What it thought was one of us. Just the sound of the fun. Just a stranger. <laughs> to make his oh. Oh. It's ba Bod the blonde years that you really love. Oh, the, no, the picture of Bod with the blonde hair makes that. You, that, that song doesn't work <laughs> unless you have Bod with the blonde hair. But that actually was funny. That, that came, uh, uh, me and my mates used to sing that to each other. Like, what if Bod was one of us? And uh, eventually, one time, when we were supporting uh, the script in the Aviva, and um, one of my mates, Macker, was there, and he, we, I, we met Bod after, and I was like, I'll introduce you. Like, I'll mark out a few points on him. And he, his <laughs> aim was to sing this to Bod. What if Bod was one of us? That's what he thought would be good. He goes, wait, well, Bod gets a load of this. But in his drunken state, he got mixed up, and he said, he is Bod. He is Bod. And I was like, that's not even the right song. <laughs> But uh, actually, after I saw you in Rap Minds, well, I heard you slagging Jamie Houston backstage, so I have to defend, <laughs> defend him. But, so Allegedly. I follow Bod on in Instagram, right? So, and he puts up these stories now and again where he's just chatting to the camera and he's telling them what's going on, giving his insight into the... Connecting <laughs> with his people. Yeah, exactly. So it was one Saturday, yeah. yeah. Content. One Saturday, or it was only a few weeks ago anyway, I clicked on, and of course Bod hadn't put on the sound, right? So he was talking into the camera with no sound, right? And, but you also didn't have the comments on. So all the comments were coming up going, Brian, there's no sound. Oh no, Bod, oh God, oh, <laughs> this is terrible. But someone ring him, someone ring him. It was going on for ages and you were just chatting into the- I didn't realize, yeah, it was, it was connected to a Bluetooth speaker on the, on the TV. <laughs> and I was just chatting away, it must have been 90 seconds chatting oh, away. I was easy. like, I'll it get to the like comments a in a minute. <laughs> And eventually, but the best comment of, the, of them all was, I'd still rather watch this than listen to Jamie Houston's <laughs> podcast. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know, this would be great crack if Jamie Heaslip wasn't oh, yeah. on off the ball tomorrow night. <laughs> talking about it well. <laughs> and I am most definitely taking tomorrow off because it's going to be bloody awkward. Uh, ah, no. So you're coming back at the end of the show to sing a live version of oh, If Bod Was One yeah, of Us. Yeah. yeah? Is that what you want to hear? Oh. You're all up for that. Good man. Oh. Give it up for Danny O'Reilly who clearly had too good a time in Tokyo, in Japan. 
Thanks, lads. We are going to take a very quick break. We're here tonight with thanks to Heineken, official worldwide partner of Rugby World Cup Japan 2019. Don't forget to get your selfies in. Hashtag OTB BGET. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. All right, he's going to be back. All our special guests are going to be back. And we're going to have Malcolm O'Kelly as well. And we're going to look ahead to the weekend, but we're going to take a short break. All right? Thank you very much.